Veterinary technology can be compared to what nursing is in the human medical field. So a veterinary technician is a vital member of the healthcare team. We work closely with veterinarians and do such tasks such as venipuncture, taking radiographs. We also do the lab work. We help assist in x-rays. And we assist with surgeries, anesthesia, you know, we're the advocate for the animal. There are so many different hats that a veterinary technician wears. They are the heart of the veterinary practice. We really focus on getting students the skills they need so once they graduate they can go directly into the field and work as an entry-level technician. A veterinary technology student can expect to take a wide array of classes. You're going to learn about imaging, taking radiographs, anatomy and physiology, hematology, nursing skills, how to place IV catheters, draw blood, communicate well with clients, um, but you're also going to learn about species from mice to horses and everywhere in between. Being able to learn a concept and then have an animal right there that you can put your hands on and apply what you've just learned, I think is essential for them to develop. And then at the end of the curriculum, there's a sort of a capstone course, which is called the externship, or also known as an internship, where the student spends an entire quarter full-time in a clinic environment. So the externship gives us that opportunity for those students to work in the real world prior to graduation. We're giving our students real life experience so that they have that ability to step into a job and go, okay, I'm here, let me do this. All of our campuses have a resident veterinarian on staff. They are there to ensure that the animals we have on campus are well taken care of. With our resident veterinarians, our students really get to see the type of relationship that exists between veterinarians and veterinary technicians. We work closely with employers in the community, make sure that we're up to speed with what they're looking for in their entry-level technicians. And so we take the advice of what the community of veterinary technology is saying. Ultimately, who's the people that are hiring our students? What do they want? So if I can deliver what they want, then my students are going to get hired, which is the ultimate goal. We want our students to get out there and get a job. So a potential student, when they begin to look at a school, they need to look at a lot of different areas. If you want to find out if a school is successful, look into their passing rates of the Veterinary Technology National Exam. Look at their career service department. Are they being successful? Are the students getting jobs? Are they not getting jobs? That's going to be a really good indicator on how successful that program is. Um, you want to make sure that they obviously are accredited by the AVMA. Um, if they're not accredited, you can't take that national exam. And we want the students to know that we're doing these things. There's so many reasons why veterinary technology is important in society. In order for a student to be successful, they need to feel that way too. We've got instructors who are so dedicated and so experienced. They're passionate about it, they love doing what they do, and they love to teach others. 